I just really fucking hate this planet. Wait, wait, wait. So you actually think the Earth is flat? I mean, it's not like I got empirical evidence for anything. The thing I'm trying to say is this. What exactly are you trying to say right now? Okay, okay. You ever ask yourself, why is the moon so close? I mean, like the sun, right? It's like this big, gaseous ball of fire. But it looked like a cardboard cutout. Airplanes, spaceships, what's the difference? Yes, sir, I just landed. This place looks like wasteland. Hold the land. But this is indeed a great location to begin our operation. Grab them by the property. Okay, so Port Richmond is full of factions. Tribes, if you will. Now this is the vegan gang. Yes, I said the oxymoronic compound word that is vegan gang. They can be a true terror. Well, I'll let you see for yourself. Are those fucking eggs? Do you even know what you're eating? How about you spread your legs and let me scramble some of your powdered fucking eggs? You're a barbarian. You're literally eating chicken fetus. Cluck cluck bitch. What if the dinosaurs built the pyramids? The dinosaurs? What do you mean? How would that even be possible? That's the thing though, it's totally possible. First, the dinosaurs were huge. That alone suggests the capability to move the stones. Girl, you're far. Far the fuck out. But I'm kinda into it. Like, not to even mention the fact that I think that the dinosaurs could not only speak on the same level as humans, but also had a better grasp of unknown mental capabilities. You're fucking high. Maybe, but I'm woke. Hey, bro. Can I ask you a question? Hey, what's up, man? Um, there seems to be an epic, disproportionate amount of mediocrity going around in this neighborhood. And I want to ask you, you wouldn't happen to be mediocre, would you? My family has lived in this neighborhood since my great-granddad came back from the war. Back then, women couldn't do shit. Fucking misogyny, low wages, and outright discrimination. Back when Hepburn was queen. Nowadays, it's like the gangs of New York, minus the bloodshed, but with coffee mugs and beards. Ralph Lauren! Who, me? Oh, no, no. I'm O.J. Simpson. How do you do? Ralphie, I know that's you, and I saw you pocket that banana. No, ma'am, that is not a banana. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to my bird watching. Would you rather be living in an old-style Port Richmond townhouse with no closet, no roof deck, or central air? Or would you prefer to luxuriate in a newly refurbished Port Richmond mansion with walk-in closets and washer and dryer on the premises and a roof deck to get your proper fuck on? Girl, please, that's a trick question. We are here to be of service to one another. When this practice ceases to exist, the very fabric of our society is torn. There is where ego gets its wings. There is where civility bows to the beast. And the beast is unmerciful. So gentlemen, I would like to thank you for coming in to speak with me today. I leave you with these three words. This is war. This is Port Richmond.